Are you someone with short torso and longer legs? If yes, then lucky you. Don't be all one longer legs. But if you're like me, sometimes your jeans fit too high or your v-neck tops go a little too deep. If that is the case, I'm going to share over 20 different tips and tricks for styling a short torso. Let's get started. Avoid going for tops that are too cropped. So I would say crop tops that go right here where you're showing a little bit of skin. That just cuts your torso visually, making your torso appear smaller. What you could do instead is to wear a regular top or pair the crop top with a blazer so that you're minimizing that crop effect which is shortening your torso. Now let's understand how to style button-up shirts. If you want to leave your shirt all the way out, then you're just shortening the look of your leg. But if you were to tuck your shirt all the way in, then you're just making it evident that you have a short torso. So what would you do instead? What I recommend here is to tuck the shirt in, but then pulling a little bit of fabric out from your waist. So doing a soft tuck or a French tuck. This way, you're still getting the look of long legs while elongating your torso a little bit using that extra fabric here on your waist. Let's talk about v-neck tops. V-neck tops, like the one I'm wearing here, I think they're very flattering on short torsos. The fact that you're able to show your neck and a little bit of skin, thereby adding more length to your torso. Now, I do understand that v-necks may not be for everyone. It can fit a little too deep on short torsos. So I recommend going for regular v-necks over those deep plunging v-necks. And I also recommend wearing a bra that fits you really well. That way you get a little bit of lift. Another great recommendation, well, I think it's great. I recommend wearing tight tops. Now, tight tops are tops that you can like tie here. The fact that we have a tie here makes it adjustable. That way you can get your V to be wide rather than going deep. Now, if you don't prefer the look of V-neck tops, you can also opt for the opposite style, which are high neck tops. So anything from mock neck, turtleneck, crew necks, they're all high neck tops. And the reason why I'm recommending this is because high neck tops create a color block on your body. And that also helps elongate the torso because you're now pulling your eye upwards to this direction and you're just elongating your torso this way. High neck tops are especially flattering on someone with a long neck or maybe you have narrow shoulders. In that case, you probably love wearing turtlenecks or mock necks. But I also understand if this is not the style for you, if you have a large bust, for example, it might feel sort of boxy. If that's the case, by all means, go ahead and wear v-neck tops or scoop neck tops because why not? You do you. If you have beautiful broad shoulders, I don't have it, but if you have beautiful broad shoulders, then you can also try wearing halter tops. Halter tops work extremely beautifully on someone with beautiful, pointy, broad shoulders. Now let's chat a little bit about what dresses would work. I think shift dress would look beautiful on a short torso and long leg body type, especially a mini shift dress. Ship dresses don't really give away where the waistline is, so it doesn't really matter how short or long your torso is. Maxi dresses and jumpsuits work perfectly for this body type as well. And that is because both of these styles have one monochromatic shade from top to bottom, which helps bring more balance and proportion. And also the fact that with maxi dresses, sometimes it cinches at your waist and then flows down beautifully downwards. And that way you can't really tell where your hips are. So that style also helps someone with short torso and longer leg body type. I also think wrap dresses work well for short torso, long leg body types. And that is because with a wrap dress, you're able to tie it around your waist and get that definition here. You just want to make sure that the belt is not too thick or too wide, especially if you are a small girl like me. Similar to halter tops, halter dresses are also a great choice for this body type because it helps bring your eye upward vertically, making your torso appear longer. When it comes to bottoms, I recommend wearing low-rise or mid-rise jeans or pants instead of wearing high-rise jeans. Now, if you want to make your legs look longer, then you may want to opt for high-rise jeans. But if you want to make your torso appear longer, then you may want to opt for low-rise or mid-rise jeans instead. Make sure to look for the term rice in the fit description of your jeans to understand where the jeans is going to fit. Now, if you really, really want to wear high-rise jeans, then I recommend wearing high-rise jeans with a high-neck top rather than wearing it with a V-neck top or a scoop-neck top. 
because the V is going to fall right here and the high rise is going to fall right here. So imagine you're not really leaving any real estate on your torso. If you want to wear V-neck and scoop necks, I recommend wearing them with a mid-rise or low-rise jeans. Basically jeans that fall right below your belly button. Rather than wearing white leg jeans with tons and tons of fabric on the bottom, I much prefer wearing straight leg jeans instead with a little bit of ankle showing on the bottom. That, in my opinion, looks a lot more flattering on short torso and long leg body types. Another easy styling tip is to opt for monochromatic outfits. So basically wearing a single color from top to bottom. This can create a long uninterrupted line. When you're opting for different colors on the top and bottom, you're making a clear distinction between what the top is and what the bottom is. This is going to make your torso look smaller because it's bringing attention to the torso's length. If you want to wear a different color top and a different color bottom, then you can also opt for a blazer. Blazers and cardigans are all an easy way to elongate your upper body. Speaking of long blazers, you could also opt for a very elegant long wool coat or even a puffy jacket to make your torso appear taller. Wear tops that hit right at your waistline without showing your belly. That way you still get that crop top and long leg look without having to compromise on your overall proportions. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and comment down below what you'd like to see next from me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.